Hi there, welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Corey. Today, we are gonna talk about syncing some files with Azure File Sync, and I'm sitting here with Mr. Will. I'm gonna call you Mr. Will. That's, that's that, fine. Does yeah. anyone call that you works that? For, no one calls me that. Well, they but do now. You're welcome to. All right. Oh, I appreciate <laughs> this is This is going well already. I like this. And you're going to show us this awesome new technology yeah. that is in preview at this current moment. At this current moment. But by the time of air, it'll be GA. Oh, oh OK. OK. Yeah. You're, you're revealing that we record We're, these out of time. These are all live. Just well, I can. Uh... It, is, it is currently <laughs> GA. It is GA currently right now. GA. <laughs> Thank you. OK. So it just went GA. Just um, went GA. We're not just we right don't, now. We don't sync these shows as fast as your Azure File Sync syncs. Yeah, well, we, we do real time. That's right. So. All right, so tell <laughs> us a little bit about what this thing is, why someone would use it, and then let's go to the, yeah, let's go to sure. the tape. Uh, so um, basically, Azure File Sync is the culmination of like a couple year journey that we started uh, back in Windows Server. Um, really not Azure focused in the beginning at all. It was really about what's the next version of File Server need to look yes. like. Um, and as we started you know, talking to customers and really getting a sense of what the kinds of things customers wanted to see from the next version of File Server, it was really like, it's really expensive to manage on-prem storage. Mm -hmm. It's really expensive to have to keep all of this data on-prem that I'm hardly ever using. It's, it's really cold data. Uh, and so we thought, hey, there's this great thing called the cloud. Let's use it. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, Azure File Sync makes a connection between your on-prem file server and yep. Azure Files. Got it, got it. And so then the, the, the primary case that people are gonna use this for is both consumers, enterprise consumers, you could also use it as a yep. file share for an app as well, or is it is it mostly gonna be for people to put the, tell me a little bit more. Yeah, so basically you can use this wherever you would use a file server. I mean, we, we generally see customers use file servers for. For personal usage or whatever. Yeah, for like, for office documents yes. and for, for, you know, we, we see a lot of customers doing CAD drawings and ah, engineering stuff. So stuff that may not be like the best fit for SharePoint where Office documents are king. Interesting. Yeah. So like a big CAD file and let's say you're going to go run some simulation against it or run some analysis or, what, or, or just show it, right? You need, the, you need the low level file system access. Love it. Love yeah, it. so that's, that's really what Azure Love Files is And then for. this gets it up in the, so you can use it both as a backup story, but you can also use it as a way for people to access it from other locations. Is that Absolutely. correct as well? So yeah. I, have I, I jumped can, the gun? You have, have I, jumped the gun a little bit, but I, that's, that's I, fine. Apologies. <laughs> apparently, I, apparently, I knew a lot more about this than I thought I did. Yeah, so, well, that's great. Why don't you actually go into it and show us a little bit about All what right, we got? All right. So I've got uh, I've got this server upstairs. I'm running a few VMs. It's on prem. It's not in Azure. Okay. Got and, it. So it's a server in your in yeah. Your, so this in your is just private office. Yeah, in, in, in my office, and I've got a, a few uh, SMB shares here. So I've got this share called Final Videos. I'll uh, just go into it, and you can see I've got some some nice videos here that I made back for the Windows Server 2016 launch. Yes, got it. Um, so oh, cool. okay. if yeah. you actually go into one of these videos and like look at the properties, what you'll see is that uh, the video is actually not on disk at all. And that's because what oh, we've done, yeah, okay. we've, we've, we have the data up in Azure, and so we just replace the, the on-prem file with a link out to the cloud. File share. Yeah. Very cool. So, um, so this is oh, so this is yeah, this is not even running locally it, at all. Yeah, because because thinking back to what I said a few minutes ago, it's it's about on-prem space management. Right. Your on-prem storage is, is kind of expensive. Yes. In the cloud. Yes. Especially when you factor in all the things like you you know managing right. uh, the upgrades and managing hardware replacements. In Azure, we do all that for you. Right. Right. But so it avoids you, you not having to do file servers and running this all on-prem. You can use Azure sort of infinite space. Exactly. Uh, and, exactly. Okay. Very cool. So so basically, what we do here is we we have a, what it's we really call cool. a heat map. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, you know, we're just storing the hottest stuff. Yeah. And so if I actually click on this, you'll see that it's uh, it's pretty seamless. It just runs. It just goes into it. So it's it's like going to start downloading. Play. Yeah. Look at that. Away we yep. go. Yep. Away we go. So it's gonna it's gonna just start streaming it just like I would expect. Right. Um, you know, pretty right. pretty seamless. Any yeah. any uh, lag yeah. here is really because of the remote inside right. the network. That's not, right. Not out to Azure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, this just feels like it's going to be local uh, on a local share, but now this is all running in Azure. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so let's let's show the the multi-site access part. It's the thing it. that I ruined. Yeah, the thing that you were, but that's okay. That's, okay. that's so one of the core that. value props. Okay, so fine. I've got this other share here, uh, in, in very like cryptically called Project, Project X. X. And I can go in here to this uh, thing, and I can actually just make a new file. So I'll just go here. Creating something new. I Creating like it. something new. I'll just make a text file. Oh, there you go. Okay. Good. And I will put some content in it to show that this is real. 
the ever inventive hello world. All right, so now I have, um, I have this data being synced between two servers. Okay. I can actually show that here. Uh, so I'll show server one, which is Windows Server 2016 instance. And um, uh, this is the server that I was actually talking to, so I clicked on the wrong thing. Right, you want to go Project X, and there's... Demo directory, there's my file, there's just like file. I expect. And we open it up. What is, don't you it, understand? This is the one I actually talked to. Oh, oh so, I see. So I I'm, I'm going to go to the other one now. Um, here's my Windows Server 2012 R2. This has the same files on it. And I will go into this, and there's the file. It's synced right there while we Booyah. were Booyah. Yeah. Very cool. Now, is there a pro like, so, you know, based on the location of these, is it anything clever on this, or is it just, it is just all talking to this one because you're basically replicating one location? Yeah, so basically, it. basically, the, you can think of the cloud as the center of your file, Perfect. Uh, of your file services and within your org. Talking to Everything's it. talking to the cloud. The cloud has the master copy of the data. And what you'll see us do is, like, uh, really start bringing the, since it's the center of your data, attaching additional services yes, to it. Yes, yes. So we already have integration with Azure Backup. We've got a few more in pipeline. Very cool. So tell me, what else can you do with this? So, so now I've got basically this syncing. I've got multiple people that can talk to it. Um, uh, you know, what else is powerful with, uh, with Azure File Sync? Yeah, so since, since the cloud is like effectively the center of your file services right. and your organization, mm -hmm. you can do all kinds of things. So um, you know, we'll have, we have Azure Backup integration today. We're going to bring additional services. But the, the thing I really wanted to highlight here is since you know, the cloud is the center, yep. if you have some sort of disaster, or some negative event happened to your on-premises. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you just hook a new hook server, a new back server up, up to it, and it just shows it up just, and away yep, you go. It just shows up, exactly. That's awesome. Yep. This is super cool. Thank you so much for showing this. And people can go use this today. It is GA as of now. As of now. So now go <laughs> use it and uh, have some fun with this and start syncing your files, guys. So thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Hit us up at Azure, uh, hashtag Azure TWC. That's Tuesdays with Corey. Ask us questions, comments, and we'll get to it. Thank you very much.